channel. Thank you for taking the time every day to stop at. Okay, so today is Monday. Hold on one second. So today is Monday. And I was going to do a get ready with me, but I'm not going anywhere. So I didn't need to get ready for anything. However, I did finally take a shower. <laughs> I have been, last week I was extremely sick. I swear I had strep. I wasn't sure what it was. I never did go to the urgent care because three days into not feeling good, all of a sudden I hurt my back. Um, it's not really hurt. I got into a car accident last year or last year or the year before, two years ago. Um, a tractor trailer had hit the truck that I was driving and I was driving uh, Stefano's little Nissan truck and it hit me and it like flipped me push the car around like the truck around really good and I went this way my hips went that way my this went this way so I like really hurt my back um anyway every ever since then I get sciatic nerve pain really really bad so it's always on the left side of me never on the right so I did the stretches I did the exercises I have muscle relaxers nothing was touching it nothing Advil Tylenol nothing was touching it I had so much pain. Usually it only lasts like two, two days, never more than three. Well, it lasted four, four days. And today I, I finally feel decent. I was able to, um, to get a shower, <laughs> walk around without crying. Um, sitting is just fine. You can sit all day long. You know, it doesn't hurt as long as you don't move. However, as soon as you stand up to walk around, for me anyway, you stand up to walk around, it just like, oh. So a lot of it has to be, has to do with inflammation. And I knew that I was having a flare a couple, you know, like five days ago. I knew I was flaring up. As soon as I know, I, I break out really bad. I get, I get acne really bad. Um, I get stiff joints, pains, really, really bad pains everywhere. So that's how I knew I was going to have a flare. But sciatica also your sciatic nerve it flares up so you get you get pain that way also so i did everything i could to get rid of that pain and nothing nothing would take it away i was literally in tears like it it was horrible um so i just wish i could it's there's something that could fix it i don't even know if you could i really should see a chiropractor and maybe then i'll get it fixed so then i noticed my penny hi Hallie Berry Hallie say hi to everybody say hi 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 everybody hi everybody um I noticed that my penny wasn't doing so well she wasn't eating and stuff so I've been feeding her by syringe she has a vet appointment but I can't get her in until the 23rd so that's also when FJ goes back to the vet but they have him going at 10 in the morning and her going at 3. I'm going to try to switch it. See if I can get him at 3 and her at 10. Because they've already seen him. But she needs way more attention. Plus I want Stefano to be there. In case we have to make a decision that I'm not willing to make by myself. Um, so, you know, because she's not walking. Um, I'm syringe feeding her. I'm giving her water. I syringe feed her every 3 hours so that she can that she has you know something to eat and she's doing really good she's she's hungry and she's eating and she lo actually looks more alert today than she did yesterday so hopefully it's just something something weird and strange and we can get it fixed and she'll be okay because penny is only i think penny's like four maybe five years old um she's really not that old and um I would hate for something to happen where I have to make a decision that I really am not willing to make. So, and I haven't been on YouTube, so I haven't seen anybody's videos for the other channel that I've been talking about or um, Diane's channel or Joey Z's. I haven't seen hers either. I know that they have them. I just haven't had time. And right now with my back, a lot of things got neglected. Stefano did the best that he could do, but he's not me. So um, I have a lot of stuff to clean up. And um, so I will be doing that the rest of the day. Uh, I, I really didn't have that much to show you guys because I didn't do anything. I didn't go anywhere. Stefano did the shopping for me. 
This morning, however, I did go to the Dollar Tree. I know. I, I went to the Dollar Tree. I got a couple things that we needed. Um, Stefano wanted potatoes, and he likes those green giant can, you know, the ones in a can. The whole potatoes, he likes them. So he made quite, side, sort of like a beef stew kind of thing. Um, so, what do you got? Hey, what you got? Come here. Oh, okay. So, um... So he wanted some cans of potatoes. There was a couple things I was looking for at the Dollar Tree, which I'll be doing a haul in a couple minutes so I can put all this stuff away. And then I will be changing out. I don't think you guys can see. See right over there where all those flowers, right over here, all those flowers and lights are, I'm gonna be changing that out for the fall. So if I can, I will record it. If I can't, I'll show you what I put in it, but like step by step, I'll show you what I put in it. Um, cause I do want to decorate for fall now. I'm just got the itch to do it. Uh, it's been nice and cool. Notice my air conditioner is off. Okay. All right. Teddy. That's Teddy. Oh, there. Look who that is. Stormy. Storm. Hi, Storm. So, yeah. But really not much going on. I did see that, um, Ann Hayes did pass away and oh, that's so tragic that accident it's so tragic i did see that the um lady where was that yeah a rare a rare blue lobster was caught off the coast of maine isn't that cool so the latest the latest music uh, news about the car accident in california was uh, it just says nurse accused of speeding caused crash in los angeles charged with that's like the last thing that I, I saw about it was that she was charged. Um, they charged her six counts and five counts of vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence, according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney. The charge was filed for the pregnant woman's unborn child. So, yeah, that that is terrible. That That is awful. And it was all because of speeding. And that that accident the poor people that also witnessed the accident that saw the devastation and what happened and i i just feel so bad for them too i i'm sure that some of them are going to need counseling just seeing that car accident itself was horrendous horrendous um especially an accident that violent it was such a violent accident you know when she went careening into the cars and then the explosion and that it that is just horrible horrible and um, just to say, because so far I don't think uh, she didn't have any alcohol in her system or any, any um, in her system. I didn't see anything about that. So if that was just all about speeding, that's just crazy. No medical health issue or anything like that. Like if she had a medical health issue or, you know, stepped on the gas because of her heart or something, you could understand. But something, somebody doing something so reckless so reckless and irresponsible especially for a nurse like you know we i mean you know how life is so precious and to do that is just like ridiculous so you hear my kitty cat she wants to talk <laughs> so i don't know guys so yeah today is just going to be cleaning up and doing what i can do to clean up like the mess from the weekend because you know stefano is is only one person so you know so yeah guys that's it that's all i have for this monday um if you heard any news about anything or any story you like to discuss down below let me know what the topic is also you can always email me at pam's life at comcast.net and i'll be happy to talk about that um the new case that i just saw was that girl that went missing from the party where 200 to 300 people were at and i just don't understand how nobody saw her leave i just i don't understand how 300 people there 200 people there and nobody saw this girl leave it's just um a little crazy so you know is a, a very strong source for fighting cancer as well as other things my husband had a fatty liver he was a uh, borderline diabetic like he was on metformin 
um, he got rid of his fatty liver he got rid of his blood work it was excellent all just because we changed our diet and we went to keto so I mean and I lost all that weight and I was feeling good and it was helping me with um, all my pains that I was having um, so I understand about changing diet and sometimes when you change your diet it can feel like it's restrictive but actually it really wasn't I mean we did dirty keto and that was not restrictive at all so I really enjoyed it um, just right now I'm not seeming to stick to it there's something wrong where I'm not sticking to it I don't have the that um, push to stick to it um, Stefano and I in the beginning it was because we had a goal his fatty liver we had to reverse it and we did it so you know but me I really should be doing it I did see I did look up that inflammation diet and it's like the whole 30 um, so a lot of it has to do with the whole 30 which is almost like keto but this is different you can have rice you can have potatoes and things like that so um, I'll be looking into that more and I'll discuss that in tomorrow's video, I guess. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I don't want to make this too long. Like I always say, somehow, some way, I'll have an amazing day. You make your day amazing, and together, friends, we'll have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.